Hi everybody, my name is Salma Shirouf and I'm from Algeria. I came here to this conference to share an initiative which I strongly believe in and which is empowering women. To empowering women, we are not only empowering individuals, but also empowering the whole community. May one may wonder how. I grew up in a family where they never considered women as an inferior sex. They ha I have never felt any kind of gender discrimination among my family. Surrounded by four women, my mother, two sisters and I, my father has always considered himself as a lucky man which is not the case of all men in Algeria, since they feel ashamed of having more girls than boys among the family. Since a while, I kept hearing phrases among the Algerian community like the following. She got raped. She was beaten by her husband, son, brother, or father. She's nothing. She's no one. She's nothing in the society. And I was really fed up. I was really fed up to hear some such things among the Algerian society. I was really fed up to hear people coming to my, my father and asking him, how can he let me travel abroad alone? Such misunderstanding in the society is killing me. One day, I woke up. It was a nice day. And I was like sitting in my bed just thinking. I have been thinking a lot and suddenly I was like just talking to myself and I was imagining like I'm having an audience, the Algerian community, and just shouting, enough, enough beating her, enough making violence against her, enough saying that she's nothing, enough considering her as an inferior sex, a sex machine or a house machine, enough saying that she's nothing, come on. It's all about her. Then I, I took my phone and I called some friends, some Algerian uh, activists on whom I strongly believe. And I told, him, I told them, guys, we're going to meet in half an hour. And they were like, yeah, OK. And I said, we're going to discuss something really important, and which is the empowerment for women in Algeria. And they said, what are you talking about? I directly replied that we are going to make a change. And they <laughs> replied again, which kind of change are we talking about? And I said, a change to make the world a better place. And they said, come on, Salma. Are you kidding? You want to make a the, the world a better place? You want to change the world? You can't do it. You can never change the world. And he was like, yeah, OK, yeah, I know that I can change the world, like tomorrow or today, but it's OK. Just one hop at a time. After half an hour, we met. And during our brainstorming session, we talked about the problem, the key causes of the problem. Uh, the, 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 the goals and the vision that we can have. And we came up with a plan which, which will guide us just to realize our goals. We noticed that uh, the problem uh, among the Algerian society is that some women, they can't even read labels. They can't even complete com applications. They can't even read to their children. And they can't even defend their rights. And we found out that the key, the, the, the key, the key causes of the problems are the erring interpretation of our religion, the lack of like, governmental support, the, social, the wrong social ideas, the, the, the cultural restrictions which doesn't allow women to go outside, study, or work. And we're trying to find some potential solutions. Getting women involved in discussions with women leaders from all, from all over Algeria can help share experiences and get people involved. 
getting people involved in workshops can help a lot so that we can develop their leadership skills. Incorporate real life issues that resonate with the experience of their lives. Also, a woman can transmit to her children what she, what she can develop. Since she's his best teacher, his role model, his first mentor, a strong, inspiring person to look up to. Our vision is that the reasons that pushed me to implement this project in my home community is that vision of a better future, which is considered uh, that vision of a better future, which doesn't apply to our prisons today, which is considering women as an inferior sex, and that. This way of thinking, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't apply only on my society, but in the whole world. Women hold the key to a better future, since they are the first teacher of their children. Our goals. The empowerment for women is directly based on improving the leadership skills. We are also thinking about putting an end to illiteracy. How? We thought about having uh, a place in IWA, uh, in the association, so that we can uh, teach women for free. We can also uh, strengthen leadership skills and widen women's cultural knowledge, help women realize the significant role they can play while educating their children and the positive change they could bring about as a result. Plan to get women involved in developing school curriculum through educating their children before they get to school. And need, the need of sources. Since sources, uh, the, the, the first thing and the most important thing is having human resources. That's the most important thing because we can't do anything alone. Everything comes when we are a team. Inspiring, right? IWA initiative stands for empowerment for, mini, for women in Algeria. Actually, the word IWA is also an Arabic word which means a shelter, and we meant by that a shelter for her, to protect her, to show her the way, to guide her. IWA paves the way and brings together a diverse range of men and women to provide a network of support. We are a group of people who tried to improve their leadership skills, who tried to take leadership roles, to, who tried to, have, to influence some segments of the society, a move to influence the whole community, a step up to influence the country, and why not to influence in the world and making a positive change. Actually, this picture was taken in Roger Williams University at the Leadership Institute. At this time, it was just an idea. And we presented it and we had some feedback. We also presented it in an annual conference in Istanbul, which was held by the Department of State, the US Department of State, and directed by the Middle East Partnership Initiative Program. And the most important thing, and here, today, right now, Amanz is giving me the opportunity to share it with you and to try to convey the message and talk about women, that they are the most important thing. We know that it will take a long time to reach our goals, but we are optimists that we can make it, take the initiative, Empower women, educate women, because they are the key. They are the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you. <laughs>